Hi folks, welcome back to the hoard. One of the other projects I'm working on is I pulled that drive chain out of the golf cart. That's a club, but I pulled the Yamaha drive chain out of that golf cart. You guys might have seen the video. You just have to remove four bolts and the engine drops right out. And one of my problems or one of my concerns for this golf cart is um, it appeared to have a bit of a fire go on here or something. Um, I found some melted wires and some screwed up wires. And um, so it was a little like what kind of shape are we in? Um, so I got my portable CDI box, right? The old Spooner box and I got a spark plug and I got my whole jump pack charging on a battery charger set up here and I'm just trying to see if I could get spark and check it out let me show you the spark plug and zoom in a little bit sorry if I'm doing this by one hand so if you see me jumping around it's because I got juiced so you guys could see it now I think you guys were able to see that. Hopefully I'm not making you nauseous. So it seems that I have have spark. And Homie likes that a lot. The um, the only thing I did notice is this the pulsar signals from this thing. Uh, here's the wire that comes from inside the shroud here Right you could see and you have um, a white and black and a white and red Which go to the pulsar and for some reason they have a ground wire going to the pulsar too. That's what that black wire is um, Neither one of these the white and red or the black and red um, seem to have anything to do with the pulsar right the only one that does seem to have something to do with the pulsar is the um, is, is well the only two that have something to do with the pulsar are the white and red and once again black and red so hopefully let me turn that off before I juice myself screwing around here um, so, hopefully, over the next few videos, what you'll see is, you guys remember I bought that carburetor for this thing. Hopefully, you'll see me smash the carburetor around there. And then, um, you'll see this thing actually fire up. Um, and we'll see the torque converter work and the rear end go round and round and all of that. I want to bring this drive chain back to life um, particularly the motor part of it um, because I have another whole Yamaha golf cart on top of the trailer and this one is in halfway decent shape I mean, it's not the prettiest golf cart in the world, but um, I actually, I, that, that's it, we're walking up to it, but I actually have another um, hood to put on it so we could get around that. And from a rust point of view, one, two, three. Oh, oh man, it sucks getting old, folks. Um, but it does beat the alternative. I'm on the wrong side of it. Anyway, if I open this up for you, you'd see on this side, it's really in halfway decent shape. I also, um, I can pull the seats and all out of the other one. And it'd be cool to bring this one 
back to life. Uh, I don't know what golf carts sell for around you guys, but typically um, a golf cart, if it'll start, run, and move, it's, it's worth over 500 bucks around me. Not that I'm selling this, but once I get it going, I could always do something. Um, my son doesn't want anything in Pennsylvania that doesn't move, but if I get this thing moving, running, then um, maybe I can transfer one of these down to him. I have a spare seat right here to go on it. It's got a little bit of a rip. And the um, uh, here's the backrests. Um, I have a spare nose right there so I could put that on it so I can make it I can actually get it looking halfway decent the frames in decent shape the frames clean enough good enough that I can hit it with POR 15 I don't think it needs to be patched up so or at least last I looked at it it didn't look like it needed to be needed to be patched up so it'd be cool to bring that one back to life um, next um, I don't I don't know how much you guys like golf carts. Um, for me, I kind of enjoy them, just getting getting on them and beating them about. They're a lot of fun to drive and so forth. Um, this one I kept also. Um, this is a club car electric, but what it has is it has an aluminum frame, so it's it's really pretty light, right? It doesn't it doesn't weigh too much at all. What I'd like to do with it, and it's small. It's a short cart. So this one, I actually plan on putting one of the um, 110 or 125 cc motors in it with uh, with reverse. It uh, it won't be the most extreme powered golf cart, but with the three speed plus reverse, it should be fun. It should be a fun project, fun to play with. Um, but probably, I, I can't use, I really can't use the rear end in it because it, um, it has an electric motor which spins, they typically spin about 2,500 RPM. And if I speed, feed the output shaft of the quad motor into it, the output shaft of the quad motor isn't going to be spinning anywhere near 2,500 RPM, even in third gear. So the thing is going to go like zero miles per hour. Um, so that means I want to put a different rear end in it, um, but I don't necessarily want to use a straight axle. So I might dig around the hoard and see if I can't find something with um, a differential in the back um, and off the top of my head right like I don't have enough projects going I might as well put the mind on to the next one right um, but I think I think what I'd like to do is uh, is perhaps pull the rear end out of one of these rats particularly this guy because this guy really needs to get out of here anyway pull the rear end out of this one because it's got a differential in it um and i think it's got a relatively um small shaft size so i can slide a pipe over it and um put i don't know inch inch and a quarter pillow bearings out on the outside weld the pipe to the rear end perhaps fill it with um with another piece of uh, straight axle, right? And then have the, um, have a differential in the back, have a um, three speed transmission, and once again, 10, 12 miles per hour, the um, rear end on the tractor should be able to handle that kind of speed. It should be able to handle the horsepower of a 125 cc quad motor um, it should be a lot it should be fun it should just be a fun machine uh, the quad motor like if I use this guy here it has reverse right and you see how small that is right I mean that's my hand compared to the motor 
Anyway, my battery is about to go dead. So let me say, folks, I really want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Don't let any fun go by. You know, everybody else is having fun. You might as well get out there and have some for yourself also. Take care now, folks. Bye.